hello welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to talk about a phd in sweden this video is going to have three sections the first section is going to be about the phd in sweden overview or an introduction then we can talk about the requirement what is the eligibility to do a phd in sweden and then i will share some of the best resources where you can really find a phd normally phd is a combination of coursework and research in most of the countries but when it comes to doing a phd in sweden it is entirely changed you have to do phd like a full-time researcher in Sweden. You do research in your four years and you produce one to four publications and then you get your PhD title. In Sweden, it is a full-time paid position. It means that you are going to work and you will get a salary of 25 to 35,000 Swedish crown before tax. You will pay tax and you are considered as a working person in Sweden when you are doing a PhD. Now we can talk about the eligibility criteria. What is the eligibility to do a PhD? You want to do a PhD in Sweden, you need to have 17 or 18 years of education. It means after your 10th grade, you should have intermediate and then four year undergrad degree and after your undergrad degree you should have one year or two year mphil or a master degree then you are considered as eligible to apply for phd program in sweden beside your education requirement you also need to show certain level of english proficiency you can show 6.5 ban of ielts or toefl this way you fulfill the language requirement if you have studied in english countries or your entire education is in english then you can still fulfill the language requirement by providing a english proficiency letter from your institutions when you are applying for a phd you also have to provide a motivation letter i have made a video on motivation letter and I collaborated with one of my good friend Anushka she's from Sri Lanka and she is a Swedish Institute scholar she got a essay scholarship so we share our experience of getting admission and scholarships so you can watch that video and get benefit out of it after fulfilling the requirement of education and language proficiency there is one major point which you should consider if you have a publication or a work experience then you are a very strong candidate for phd in sweden most of the cases when i met phd candidates or phd people they told me they had at least one paper or few years of experience in research or in their field so it is better to have a research paper or a work experience when you are applying to the PhD. The more work experience or more research papers you have, your probability to get accepted into the PhD program is higher than the other candidates. Now it's the time to talk about the ways how to find a PhD position in Sweden. The first and very easy way is to go to the university or research center or a company website and look into the open position, vacancies or career tab. When you open this tab, you can see all the available positions. Here you can find most of the PhD positions. This is the first way. The second way to find a PhD is to go to the individual department website. Once you are on the department website, you can see the name of all professors and their research you can go into their individual profile and check their research and also check if they have published any open position for phd or research assistant and you can apply there in addition you can also see if they have their website if they have a website you can go there and you can apply for the open position secondly i would like to talk about the linkedin linkedin is a very big platform to find a job not only phd but also a job 
on LinkedIn, you can use different keywords to find PhD position like I'm a molecular biologist or a bioinformatician. So what I do normally is I just put like molecular biologist, molecular biology, and then I change the region where I'm looking for the position. I also search like molecular computational biologist, bioinformaticians or data analyst genomic data analyst so i use all these keywords to find different positions in sweden or around the europe so you can also do the same then i would like to point out two more resources academic position and nature academic position also has a lot of open positions around the europe and especially in sweden it is regularly updated and you can see the information of positions and you can apply from there nature is also a good resource i never used it but one of my friend who got phd and a postdoc they told me this is another good resource to find a phd thank you very much for watching this video